trying up and I don't know why. Um, it's always a great. Okay. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, Paul Schmodeloka, Georgetown grad, CEO, 25 years of corporate PL responsibility, sexual track record, the last 16 of which were directly in power electronics, batteries, and renewable energy. It's my third startup venture with two successful ventures behind me, one in telecoms and the other in sustainability and energy management. At New Use Energy, we're tapping into our unique global experiences in solar and battery backup to bring affordable and effective solar generators to market, to convert a portion of the gasoline and diesel portable generator market towards cleaner, safer, and better performing products. We tap into two key trends. One is increased safety of lithium batteries, and the other is declining costs, as well for lithium batteries and power electronics. We aim to address these three areas, increasing needs for backup power, high costs of adopting renewables with energy storage that today make it a luxury rather than an easy choice, and rapidly increasing electronic waste. The California situation is a prime example, and my parents happen today to be in that power shutoff zone without an affordable, safe solution. Some of our solutions also include repurposed solar panels and repurposed electric vehicle batteries, thus making us a part of the emerging circular economy. Portable generator use comes with a litany of user problems that new technologies can solve as long as the gap in pricing is narrow. We are focused on closing that gap with our solutions. Hurricane Laura was a sad example of portable generator safety issues, resulting in more people dying from using portable generators than from the hurricane itself. Lack of fuel availability for portable generators was such a huge issue after Hurricane Maria that it threatened civil order and drove tens of thousands of Puerto Ricans towards solar and battery backup since then, and it remains a prime target market for us. Most of the solar energy storage market continues to use 100-year-old lead-acid battery technology due to price and availability, as well as some early safety issues with lithium-ion, which have been solved. And you know, lithium-ion is just such a superior performer to lead-acid. The transition to lithium in energy storage is well underway, uh, but only price improvements are going to accelerate it. Given an economical choice, and those choices are rapidly improving, backup power users will choose lithium. We're part of this revolution. These are our products. On the left, our sun-based trailer being driven to Colder, Cloverdale, California wildfire site to back up firefighter communications. And it was also plugged into the fire station to back up the whole building. In the middle, our robust, highly portable solar generator system, the Sun Kit, deployed at an outdoor social gathering and some of the new and repurposed lithium batteries that go into the Sun Kit and Sun Base. We work with unique suppliers and private label them. Our focus is on solutions, making it, Nick, if you can change the slide, making it convenient and attractively bundled for customers to plug in solar panels and their appliances. And since we are qualifying and stocking new cost-effective lithium batteries for our end-to-end -end solutions, customers are also requesting just our batteries for some of their projects and we expect this to grow as an important revenue stream in the years to come. There's a large portable generator market and we're targeting 10% of that market in North America. Key segments to highlight are disaster relief and NGOs where we have a foothold and a large customer already and extensive connections. Now, this can be a lumpy business. So we're also addressing the commercial industrial market in order to smooth manufacturing with steady demand throughout the year. Example of this are solar installers who regularly receive requests from those wanting solar power to avoid portable generator use, but don't have the budget for today's expensive systems that would start at $15,000. They are requesting a quick and easy way to fill this demand. We also have larger organizations seeing distributed power as a better answer for their constituency. A utility solutions provider, the Navajo Nation, which has over 30% of their population not connected to the grid, is actually visiting our facility in three hours time today to see our solution. We've had a great start to the market, initially working with high profile NGOs, mostly for disaster relief, and there have been a lot of disasters lately. Footprint Project is one of our key customers and an entry point. Uh, we've also worked with celebrity chefs Jose Andres's World Kitchen, 
the ITRDC for Disaster Communications, International Medical Corp, CAL FIRE, and we're developing our following in the solar installer community for our keys to reaching users around the US and the Caribbean. We're targeting an unserved niche between small systems on the left with limited value, limited reliability, limited runtime, and on the right, large rich solutions that are out of reach for 95% of those who need the solution. We focus on providing the right usable amount of power, a scalable solution, true high power solar input for a quick recharge, and modular components that allow for longer life through serviceability. We're looking at a year three positive cash flow and steady revenue growth. I want to emphasize the steady revenue growth. Our ask is for $900,000, taking us into year two, and we're offering preferred shares with an 8% target dividend starting year three. We want to bolster our engineering and build scale to drive down costs. While we're not targeting a specific exit date, there are three principal types of acquirers that have demonstrated both on acquisitions for companies like ours. This team and our advisors have decades of solar power electronics and NGO experience with diverse complementary skills and a really strong global network in the relevant industry areas. My most successful venture in building up a leading cable operator in Europe, we initially invested $1 million and at a four time EBITDA multiple and eventually exited an eight times multiple $70 million and a 20% IRR. It wasn't just the management team I learned that makes it happen, but it was a really positive experience with a strong partnership among the investors and the CEO that made it happen. And we're seeking the right partners who like steady growth, quality solutions, and social impact. Thank you for your time. Great. Th thanks, Paul. That was uh, right. right.